okay, I'm on the road, but I need to be, uh, to deliver a message that, um, the father just told me that I need to do now. I was going to upload it later, but he told me I need to do it now. Um, so it's an add-on to the meteor vision, um, uh, that I had. Um, and he told me that in Revelation, it talks about, um, the, the angel that falls from the, st- the sky or the, the dragon that f- falls from the sky and um, basically um, what he's refer or the fallen angels that fall from the sky too what he's re- referring to is there's going to be a big mountain that comes to the earth it's going to land in the earth and it's going to cause all the artificial counterfeit lights that and technology that's counterfeit from the AI, the artificial intelligence who talk to the cults like Illuminati, Freemasons, all these different occults who have pagan practices who follow after the, um, the counterfeit light. Um, it's a false light um, and that all the iPads, cell phones, um, iPhones, computers, technologies and videos the Satan is the god of the air the air waves and that he's gonna knock all of that out because we follow after the beast all the whole earth follows after this beast and follow after the fallen angels ways and their their artificial light that leads to darkness um, and a lot of the technologies like the light from Tesla was spoken to uh, uh, by fallen angels. Now God allowed um, this technology to be to come into the world. He allowed it all. But just like um, the fact that everything, you turn off a light switch, it's like um, circuits. You turn off a light switch and the lights, um, you know, they're, they're connected to a main energy source. Well, all the main energy sources on the earth um, one day will go out um, because um, it's a counterfeit, an artificial light AI. And um, because they're teaching the ways using this technology, the ways of Baal or the ways of Satan, Lucifer, the the light bearer, the, the false light. Um, And it's not the ways of the true light, which is Jesus and the Father. Um, They teach the ways of darkness using this artificial or counterfeit light. And they are like mind-controlling people and brainwashing people using these things and getting us to be all about buying and and consuming and and, uh, watching their false ways. And this is an abomination to the Lord. Uh, he hasn't changed yesterday, today, or tomorrow, so a lot of things are just very misunderstood. God's light is eternal. It never goes out. He gives us the stars, the sun, and the moon for light, for the day and for night, um, out of mercy, because we had fallen, followed the, the devil to the evil place, to the very dark place. And if we didn't have the sun and the moon and the stars, we would be in, in like black and, and gray. It would be black and gray here. It wouldn't be bunch of colors or anything it would it just be darkness and um, out of his mercy he put the lights there for us so that we would have lights so we'd have food and everything because he sent us out of his his garden because we had sinned um, he illuminates all of heaven the father um, illuminates all of heaven and um, the son illuminates all of heaven um, because he sits at his right hand and the sun came into the world and brought the, the light into the world. And he talked about, you know, he, he exposed the darkness and the false light. He exposed these things. And he's telling us that um, we shouldn't be following these, these ways, these false ways, because they lead to the darkness. They're the light that leads to darkness. And um, Jesus came into this darkness. He brought us light. He is the, the light. And whenever we accept him, we become light, a city on a hill, we become like light also because we're speaking, um, because he gave us his light. And then we go out and we tell others about the, the good news of the gospel of Jesus and we're spreading the light to other people and then they get the light because everybody has a candlestick. But just know that whenever these things happen, whenever the earth goes dark and the sun goes dark and the moon turns red. 
um, it's going to be like, there's not going to be the color like we're used to seeing color and everything, but that color comes from the light. So I like to be outside in, in, um, in nature and, and have the, the, the light of the sun um, shining on me because I know that it's a real light. It's from God. And um, we need to want to be in Jesus, in Jesus, um, in us because that's the true way and the true life and the true light um, and just know that all the lights that we see will go out one day um, and maybe the the, uh, the meteor that we're, that I'm the vision that I saw is of what that's going to turn off all the lights um, I know someone who had a, a vision about an, something coming through a portal and blowing up right above the ground and um, I believe it was an EMP that he saw he was a little seven year old and um, I believe that that will also turn off all the lights too. Um, which which one comes first? We don't know. We're given visions at different times and, and different things. So I just wanted to do this for the Lord. He asked me to do it right now. And I'm heading up to the mountains where it's beautiful and sunshiny and blue skies. And I just pray everybody has a blessed and peace day, peaceful day. And may his face shine upon you and may he give you peace. Bye-bye. Shalom.